It's one of the hottest fashion events on the calendar, the annual Costume Institute Gala held at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The red carpet for this event rivals that of the Academy Awards. This year's honorees are Mucha Prada and Elsa Scaparelli with an exhibit called Impossible Conversations. And the red carpet proved to drum up much conversation, including model Coco Rocha wearing a Givenchy pantsuit once owned by the legendary Elizabeth Taylor. And here to have a major conversation about all the night's fashion is our celebrity stylist and fashion expert, Philip Block. Philip, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Good to here. see you. So this is bigger than the Oscars now. Absolutely. Everybody there owns their dresses. Mm. It's society, music, sports, and the jewels are not always borrowed. <laughs> I have to tell you, the pictures I saw looked absolutely stunning. Let's start. Who, who are some of your favorites? Oh, well, let's start with Hello, Sasha Fierce, Beyonce, <laughs> who showed up quite late with Andre Leontali, but looking amazing in couture Givenchy, and you could see every bit of her body. It was sort of like, I'm back after baby, right? <laughs> I am back and baby here's my back. back. That's, that's, totally. You also really liked Jessica Alba, didn't you? I loved it. It was one of our fashion mm -hmm. picks from, from the collections we just saw. Michael Kors called her his golden gosh. She looked young and natural. She I loved really it. did. She looked like a, a statue. Looked very a goddess. Very 40s, like, yes. like Elsa Scaparelli. It was very an homage to Elsa Scaparelli. I agree. Now, you also like Rihanna and Cameron Diaz. They had similar looks. The very similar. It was very quiet in the front. Party in the back, <laughs> <laughs> scoop backs, sequin, but Rihanna was a little matte, Cameron went a little more shiny, and they both had very masculine kind of hairdos. They played with androgyny. Some people were questioning Cameron's hair cut, and I guess this was <laughs> a good way of hiding it a little bit, right? Well, it was interesting. Rihanna was wearing Tom Ford, yeah. and, and I thought, you know, Stella McCartney did Cameron Diaz, and I love the feminine gowns, but with a little masculine touch to it. Is it this is a big night for the designers, right? They want Absolutely. the stars to wear their, their dresses, right? They are begging and pleading and paying a lot of money to <laughs> get them to sit at their tables because they want them at the table Speaking with them Speaking of one of the hottest stars this summer, Scarlett Johansson, out with the Avengers. Everyone's talking about her. She looked fabulous. And Dolce & Gabbana, it was absolutely beautiful. Off the shoulder, the hair looked a little wilted from the rain, I think. Mm -hmm. And everybody was complaining about that new tattoo on her arm. She has a new tattoo that we kind of just saw Where flash of there. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's on the inside, and everybody was like, why did she do that to herself? She's young. She's allowed these mistakes, right? And she is so <laughs> hot. Look at her. I just love her. I love that effortless glamour. Oh, she looks Looks fantastic. No, she's gorgeous. Another woman who I thought looked amazing was Emma Stone. I love that red dress. Emma Stone, again, effortless glamour, and she did short the right way. Others did short, and mm -hmm. it didn't quite work, but this was Lavin, fresh, young. Oh. Look at I love the way it poofs out. How it, cute. Oh, she looks adorable. You want to put her on the top of a cake. And the hair is <laughs> so simple. I know, exactly. <laughs> so cute. Now, also, Nina. This Nina is, Debrev. Right. Gorgeous. And Donna Karen, absolutely sleek, elegant, looked like a star. Fantastic pick. Now, also, there are some that say Sofia Vergara oh. stole the show, and I have to mm. agree, she looked stunning. Caliente! Caliente! Calientito. Muy, muy caliente! <laughs> and she changed her silhouette. Usually she does that same fitted dress, but with the peplum, it was really gorgeous, oh, and this color was that. soft. Marquesa did the dress, and absolutely gorgeous. And what I love is, she's no young kid. She's out there with the Emma Stones of the world, well, and yet her. she looks hot as can be. Fabulous. I mean, and her makeup looked fabulous, too, I Beautiful. must say. Everyone. Lots of simple, very simple, yes. clean, not a lot of overdone makeup. Love it, love it. Now, let's, let's <laughs> oh. we have to talk about those who didn't quite make the cut, who maybe, mm. maybe their stylists were not feeling too well that evening. Let's start with Elizabeth Banks. Fashion challenge there. That was, her designer was Mary Katrinatsu. I don't even know who that designer is. Hopefully, I won't have to see anything from her oh, again anytime ouch. in the near future. Ouch. There was everything on this dress but the kitchen sink. Like the little, I mean, what was she thinking? Well, it's uh, high fashion, Philip. Isn't that super high fashion? You'd have to be high to wear that fashion. <laughs> Maybe that was her stylist problem. <laughs> Love you. Now, what about Kristen Stewart? You weren't a fan of that either, were Kristen you? Kristen Stewart, again, this was, you know, one of the biggest designers in Balenciaga, and it just was a mess. The top, the skirt, the shoes. Maybe you don't think it looks kind of young and punk, though? Was that the look she's going for? Very young, very punk. But this is a black tie gala where everyone else is in ball gowns. It's at the Met. It's a right. costume institute. You oh, I get it. Costume. You say rise to the occasion. <laughs> rise to the occasion. She looked like she was going to a roller derby. Right. And what about Florence Welch from Florence and the Machine? You know, the, the, the musicians have to take some risks, right? I totally get it. Now, Florence, she was wearing Alexander McQueen. It was absolutely gorgeous. And that's one of those dresses that on the red carpet... Wow. You don't like on it? the red carpet, it doesn't work as well as it does on a runway, as it does in a photo shoot. 
there, it's a lot. Really? I sort of think it's fabulous. It's a bit like an old Christmas <laughs> ornament or a lampshade. I love it for that. I get it. But are you going to wear that dress? I, I won't, but you know what? I, you I like seeing somebody wear it. <laughs> exactly. We like to see them wear it. Philip Block, thank you so much. It's so fun talking about fashion with you. Isn't it great? That was a fun night.